and I welcome you back to Inspire Maths. In this video, we will discuss uh, the differentiability of a function at a point. Differentiability is a very important topic in calculus, and we often come across uh, various problems involving uh, differentiation of certain functions. So here we will discuss the basic definition of what do we mean by differentiability by using graphs and examples. So let me consider a function f which is a, a real valued function of real variable. Since it's a real valued function of real variable, therefore it will have a graph. So if this is suppose x axis and this is y axis, then suppose that this is the graph of the function. And suppose that we will take a point A in the domain of definition. Let me take a point A here. Since A is in the domain, that means we will have a f of A here. So here will be the corresponding point f of A. The coordinates of this point will be actually A comma f of A. Now, if I take some x which is very close to A, now as taking x very close to A means that I have to take x which is to the left or to the right of A, but very much close to A. Now I can take it either to the left, right or to the left of A. Let me take x which is to the right of A. Then the corresponding function value at the point will be f of x. Now, if I look at the difference between this f of x and f of a, then that difference will be f of x minus f at a. And to this difference, I will divide it by the difference between this x and this a. So I'm taking a point a, any point which is in the domain of f. I'm taking any other point x to the right of a. And I'm looking at the function values at the point A and at the point X. I'm taking the difference in F values and I'm dividing it by difference in X values. That means I'm taking the rate of change of the function with respect to the variable X. But I will do all these things when this X is very much close to A. That means when limit X goes to A. If this limit exists finitely, then this limit we called as the right hand derivative RHD right hand derivative of f at x equals a and we denote it by L f dash of x at x equals a or we all uh, denote it by df by dx at x equals a. Now similarly if I take the axes which are to the right of uh, to the left of a now here uh, limit x approach to a means since this limit x is approaching to a from the right that means it is limit x approach to a positive now if I take x's which are to the left of a and I look at the function values f of x's and I do the same thing as I did earlier I look at f x minus f of a and I divide it by x minus a and with that I will take limit x tends to a now x goes to a but since it is going from left to right so it will go to a sorry negative then this limit if it exists finitely gives the rate of change of f with respect to x whenever the rate of x is very much rate of whenever the change in x is very much small we call it as the left hand derivative or hd and we denote it by sorry this was the right hand so r here so this is left hand of f dash of x 
at x equals a or we also denote it by df by dx at x equals a now these two limits can may or may not exist if they exist and are both equal then we call the limit x approach to a of this ratio exists and if that exists then we call that a limit x approach to a f x minus f of a divided by x minus a is the uh, now the derivative of f at a and we write it as f dash of x at x is equal to a or we also denote it by df by dx at x equals a now so this is the final definition of the derivative of f at a point a so derivative of f at a point a is nothing but is the limit of this ratio f x minus f of a divided by x minus a now in this limit if we suppose put x equals a plus h x equals a plus h means that h will be equal to x minus a so in the limit as x approach to a h will approach to a minus a that will be zero so that this limit will become so that limit x approach to a f x minus f of a divided by x minus a will become equal to limit of instead of x approach to a we have h approach to zero f of x is now a plus h minus f of a divided by h so this gives us the another limit which is which in turn gives us the derivative of f at the point a or we also denote it by df by dx at the point x equals a so now we have got the two definitions of the derivative of f at the point a either it is the limit x approach to a of this ratio or it is limit h approach to zero of this ratio now we can generalize it as the derivative of f at any point other than a by just replacing this a by x so that if i replace x again by a or b or c or some other point that will give me the derivative of f at those points so in general in general we have limit h approach to 0 f of x plus h minus fx divided by h and this will give you the derivative of f at any point x which is also denoted by df upon dx so this is the final definition of the derivative of f at a point x we can take this definition or we can take this definition <clears throat> we read that and the definition of limit is limit h approach to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h is joined by f dash of x this means that if we have the coordinate axis x axis and y axis if this is the graph of some function then there is some point x now to this point x we are giving a small increment we are taking it to x plus h we can give the small increment uh, by shifting it towards right or then or moving it towards left which gives me the left hand or right hand derivative here so once moved it towards left or right we look at a function value of this point and a function value of this point also we take the difference between the function values of these two points here and take the difference between the function values uh, between these two points x plus h minus x which is h 
but do it in such a way that this increment is very much small the shifting of x towards left or right is very much small so the h goes to zero so this limit if it exists finitely will be called as a derivative of f at x and will be denoted by f dash of x all will be denoted by df upon dx now please pay attention to the previous definition also the previous was whenever limit x approach to a f x minus f of a divided by x minus a exists finitely then this will be called as f dash of x at a point x equals a if we look at the geometric interpretation of this definition we see that we have a here f of a here x here f x here if we look at the coordinates of this point the coordinates of this point are a and f of a the coordinates of this point are x f of x we know that whenever we have a line with the coordinates as x1 y1 x2 y2 then the slope of this line is given by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 now we see that from this point to this point let me call the point a and let me call the point b this a b is not a straight line but the coordinates of a are given to be a f of a and the coordinates of b are given as x f of x if this a b would have been a straight line then its slope would have been uh, f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a i repeat if this a b would have been a straight line its slope would have been the difference in the y coordinates that means f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a but since this is not a straight line when we take this x and we just to take it close to a this f x will get close to this point that means this b will get close to this a so that this point will come here and we will have a small very uh, small enough line segment at a point a or in other words we will have the tangent at a point a and this will along with limit x approach to a will give us the tangent sorry slope of the tangent at the point x equals a so the derivative of f at a point x equals a gives us nothing but it gives us the slope of tangent at a point x equals a hope you enjoy, all enjoyed this lecture we'll be coming up with more interactive lectures thank you for watching this lecture